Com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to enable data audit in Hyphen Financial Management. So data audit property is very meaningful. Many of time your internal audit team requires some detailed information about the transaction. So the data audit keep track of all the changes done into your HFM. In addition to data audit you can also use task audit and process flow history to give a complete history about complete detail about last transaction and this kind of information highly meaningful during your internal audit process. Data audit uh, data is audited only for account dimension if data audit is enabled for the scenario. So in order to work on data audit and look at the historical data changes you need to enable this property the property name called enable data audit and this property is associated with account and scenario dimension. So if you define for which scenario dimension in enable data audit property set to true and correspond to which account dimension. These are the couple of points. If the enable data audit property is set to yes for a scenario, it applies to all account dimension regardless account is enabled or not enabled. It means scenario dimension enable data audit property overrides account dimension enable data audit property. If enable data audit property for scenario dimension is O, then only those accounts are get audited which are set to explicitly enable data audit. And enable, if enable data audit set to no, no accounts are audited. Let's see how it works. One more thing I like to draw your attention. We often do, we often enable data audit for the account which are manually keyed in or you type directly. For example, you're talking about different quick ratio analysis, head count. These examples are more appropriate for keep tracking of any changes done by the users. The data audit property uh, contains this information and under this events. So every time you enter data, load data, audit data, copy data, or you load data, data audit property triggered and store this information, username, uh, what activity is done, time modifier, server detail point of view and value. So I'll take you directly to the option how to enable this. One more thing you can query this table directly which store your audit information. So if you enable your data audit for all the account the table populates very fast. You need to use database techniques to move this data to another temporary table or archive this table on periodic basis. So the more accounts are enabled for data audit, the more volume of data in generate and day-to-day -day basis. You need to design a strategy to keep track of, uh, design a strategy to uh, archive this table as well. So the first step you enable data audit for your account dimension and enable data audit for the scenario dimension. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can open your desktop client, select your account dimension and then select the account for which you like to enable data audit. For example, I select sales and I like to see any changes are done in sales or any changes done on headcount should be enabled. So I select headcount and I made enable data audit property set to yes. Right. In a similar fashion, I would be selecting a scenario dimension and I specify enable data audit for the respective account or scenario. So for actual, I made enable data audit equals to Yes. O means depends upon account dimension. For whichever account, enable data audit is true, the data would be audited for the respective section. Account dimension member. So for actual I made it yes. O account dependent dependent for other scenario made them made them known. In addition to this you can also enable this property from your dimension library. In case you are using EPMA application. You can go to dimension library, select your account and scenario and make enable data audit property set to yes. So select the respective account. So the property enable data audit on the right side and make it yes. So is a the only difference over here is a browser based interface. Correspondingly scenario as well. Select scenario dimension, make enable data audit property, set to yes. 
you know, in EPMA application, every time you modify your application, you need to redeploy this. That's the only constraint you have. Whereas after loading, after enable data audit of your metadata, for your classic application, you should go to your maintenance task, load task, and load this metadata. Application setting, open it. I modify metadata. If you do, just point to your metadata. Point to it, whichever you modified. And load it. Because I clear metadata and load it, it takes few more seconds to load. Loading is done. After enable data order, we'll see the event under data order is captured. Data order option is captured. So these are the events. Every time enter data, clear data, load data, copy data, data order is captured. Let's start doing it one by one. First activity I'll open in data form and enter data. Because my enable data audit is uh, is done for head count. I open any data form which contain head count and and enter data manually. So open my data form or data grid call simple. I select my head count. I have chosen an account as head count. Whatever in value I input, it will be audited. This is even first user input. After enter, I write back, submit this data. Every time you enter data, data audited. Second, we'll see another event called data copy. How to when you copy data and load data. In both cases, auditing happen. So whatever data I entered, I just copy it. I enter data for my actual actual headcount for 2001. I copy 2002, the same data. There's an option for data copy command. On a data task, Under manage, your option called data copy. So define source to target. So I select my source as actual. I'll copy from actual year 2004. To my which period, I'll select all periods. Or you can select a specific intersection. Just to speed up my data load process, I select intersection as July, my period. This is my source. I want for a specific account, select the account, head count, and entity, all entities. So I select account as head count, and entity. I select children of all entity. So all entity is going to copy. Now select your destination. Destination account would be scenario. Copy from actual to budget. If your budget is enabled. Now I should continue to copy in actual because we enable our data audit only to actual. Scenario. Year is 2000. 5, 4 to 5. Though it is not meaningful, actually we copy actual data for current year to budget data for next year. Often this has happened because I enable my data audit only for actuals and therefore I am copying only in actual for the sake of testing. Done. So there are two events we done so far. Data input and data copy. Right. Copy data. Click on copy data, 
copy is done. Now two events are done. Data enter, data copy. We'll do third event called data load. So I can go to load section and load a small piece of data. I've got plenty of data in my source. So rather than loading all the data, we'll load only subset of it. Right. This is my source file. I'm loading data for head count. Right for 2004 actual. For this intersection, I'm loading data. Let's see. Go to load task. Select data, right click, open it and load data. Point to your data file. Go to your HFM practice application, the one which created. On the C drive, HFM working folder, HFM practice application and data. Select your data file and load it. So we've done three events, data enter, data load and data copy. And when I see my enable data audit, because it is true, these three events would have captured. Done. Enter data, data copy, enter data, data copy, and data load. Now let's go to data audit option. I like to see what all changes are done on 1st, 2nd of January. So, by the way, data audit option you can see under maintenance, data audit. Right click and open it. Now, for which one you would like to see data audit, I'll close and open it again and apply filter. Right click. See these events are happened today on 2nd of January. You see the first event we made enter data, the second event we load data. Data copy event doesn't happen. We'll check this. But these two events are captured correctly. This is how you can click you can click on a specific event and see for which point of view what user who was a user what activity was done what value value modify what was server name at what time with this intersection this point of view at any point of time you can go back and check all the numbers are modified in the past and this way we can maintain data changes so that's it for today you should enable data audit when you really need it there's a little performance impact every time you write back the data. So if you justify with your performance and you really need information about your data audit, you can enable it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching today's video. Should you have more questions, please write to us bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel to access more than 1000 videos on Hypen, Hypen Product Suite. Thank you and have a good day ahead.